What is up, YouTube? I'm Christopher Chiswick, and I usually make skate videos, you know, or review videos, but this is going to be completely different. I'm going to show you how to refill a fountain pen if it is refillable using an inkwell. Um, this pen is a Pilot Metropolitan fountain pen with a fine nib and a gold plain body. Um, I got these for Christmas. I have two of these pens. I got them for Christmas. They're relatively cheap. $15 on jetpens.com. I have two of these pens. I got them for Christmas because I'm a poetry major and I wanted to feel like an actual writer instead of writing with little shitty black dick pens. So I got this. And um, these pens come in these cases. And along the side, there's uh, an insert for a ref like just like a cell or a refillable. Not not refillable. It's a refill. It's you just. And we'll get into it. The three, the three things you're going to need are an inkwell with either black or blue or whatever ink, a stolen, you know, stolen dish rag, or it doesn't even have to be stolen, just, you know, have it. I stole it from my parents before I left, back for college, and you're going to need the pen. So what you have to do is take off the cap, and here's the nib. It's, well, this one's a medium to fine point. You're going to unscrew the back, set the back aside, probably lay this out because it makes it a lot easier. Set that aside, set this aside. And here's the refillable bladder. Um, to use the just the plain refills, you would take this out and stick the plastic cased refill in there and call it good. If you've already had ink in it, uh, this is going to be kind of messy because, you know, there's ink. It's ink. It's going to stain your hands, which is why my hands are stained. So you're just going to want to wipe it off. It always wipes off clean. Always wipes off clean. But how to refill this is you take it and you twist the refillable bladder back into the nib section of the pen, you unscrew your ink. I have Gentle Ink Blue by Sailor. You just want to take the pen and you want to dip it in. You want to squeeze it first. You should hear that. Um, and make sure to get any extra ink out if your bladder has any. So you want to... <laughs> bladder. So you want to squeeze it completely. Stick it in. And you want to make sure you get it up past the little circle that's now covered in blue. You want to make sure you get it past the little circle in there, because that's where the ink draws from and goes up the front to the tip. And oh, you're also going to want testing paper. Here's a little Mead memo pad where I wrote literally almost nothing in. You're just going to want to test it. Okay, I mean it works definitely, but you always want to make sure you have the most ink in it, which is exceptionally hard to get. Well, that's at least what I've noticed. You might want to stick it all the way down in. Slowly. Let it fill up. If you squeeze it, bubbles of ink should start at the back here and just end up coming out of your pen. So that's good. You might want to do this two or three times You know, to make sure you get the most Bang for your buck, as uh, the countrymen would say. So you want to dip it in, you want to release it. Ever so slowly. Do that, wipe it off. You never lose a lot of ink when you wipe it off. And you just want to, you know, practice, figure out if it's, you know, working. This works. So, what you want to do is um, <clears throat> take the back. Your hands are now covered in ink. You're going to want to screw it back on. Also, might want to cap your ink well because, yeah, you better believe that if you fucking spill that on some shit, it's gonna stay there. <clears throat> so flip to a new page. Maybe don't. Maybe write on your butt. I don't care. But you always want to make sure that it writes, you know, clean, and there are no gaps. The issue I had. When I was writing with this, after I refilled it the first time, after I used my my refill, was that uh, there were gaps in the writing. You can see that from my philosophy notes, if you care to read them, which is why I had to switch back to a plain um, fine line pen, which is and it's it, the other one I used was a Pilot. It's uh, just this rolling ball, extra fine, uh, this but in black. So, and you want to make sure you wipe off any excess. Uh, the back, you can even wipe off, because the ink still will come through. 
uh, the back of the pen is always, like right here, is always going to look kind of terrible because that's where the ink goes, unless you have black ink, which you can't really notice. So you just want to wipe it off. Never, ever bend this because then you're fucked. But you just want to, you know, test it out, see if it's right and good. And if it is, you have yourself a pen, sir. Um, I'm still not very good at refilling it to its maximum capacity. So my lines are going to be kind of thin in some places. But, uh, you know, practice makes perfect. I just learned how to make a really, like, a really decent cup of coffee. Don't worry, these pens, like, if you drop this in water, it'll be fine, because it is, like, a really tight seal. Uh, if you'll look at my other pen that I have, that I just put the, uh, the refill in, just like the plain, the plain fill, if you unscrew it, look, it's a, it's a plastic, and it's completely, completely full. So, therefore, if I draw the same cartoon me, Vaguely the same. Not, you know. Uh, the lines in some places, the places where I actually, uh, where you notice that they're thinner than other places, they'll be thicker and more. I'm just not gonna hang that board. Like, what the fuck? Okay. But, yeah. Uh, the more you refill and learn to fill your pen correctly, the better uh, the better off you'll be because you'll be able to get more ink into your pen rather than having to carry around an inkwell and refill it all the time. <clears throat> so that's all you need. All you need is the inkwell, the pen, the uh, <laughs> ink rag, and that is how you refill a pen, a fountain pen. And if we just take this and we look over here, you'll notice that this skateboard fell off the wall. Which is uh, the best thing that could ever happen to me because that sucks. <laughs> it's uh, this, I tried to hang it, like the other one is hanging perfect. And uh, eventually I will probably do a, these suck, these suck complete dick. Okay, quick review on <clears throat> command clear strips. They don't work. The clear ones do not work. I have not had a single problem with the white ones, but, uh, you know, this is definitely sacrificing uh, quality for, you know, co cosmetic looks. Like, I, I live in a dorm room, and usually when you use these hooks, it's for things that, uh, it's like for car keys. You hang your car keys on these, you hang, <clears throat> I tried to, you, you hang your car keys on these, I tried to like hang a board on this, and because I'm using this, and the nose is there, you won't see this. So, going clear plastic and using, uh, I don't know whatever adhesives are on the clear strips that you put on the back of these command hooks, but it is not as good as the, oh, I found the other one. It fell twice. It fell twice. That's what sucks. And the easy peel off, that's, that's good. I just don't, like, these just feel like really, kind of like, like cellophane. It feels like when you open up a fruit roll-up that this is what you get. I feel like I'm, you know, holding up things with fruit roll-ups. So that was my quick review of that. I showed you how to um, refill a fountain pen. So, you know, have a great day. Get a fountain pen. The one that I have is only $15. So it is a good investment. If you're a writer, uh, my writer, my Hello Poetry is, where I put all my work is hellopoetry.com slash Christopher um, hyphen Chiswick. And that's where I put everything. Um, if you just type in C.S. Chiswick, like C.S. Lewis, but C.S. Chiswick, C-I-Z-E-K, uh, you'll get a direct link to my Hello Poetry, which is where I have all of my poems uh, available to be read at any time in your life. So thank you for watching. I hope this was informative. These suck. The pen's good. So here we are. Uh, goodbye.